Greetings all. Welcome to another session here of Tuesday Talks. I wanted to get a little more uh, description into what was going on during the, uh, the 18th century and all the changes that were going on by talking a little bit more about some of the major events that were going on, some of the inventions that appeared uh, in the late 17, early 1800s, uh, some of the major explorations and other types of things that were going on, just to give you a bigger picture about what was happening with all of this expansion with regard to mobility. It was during this time that we're beginning to move out into other areas of the world, and English is going to be the primary language that goes out there and does all of these changes. So uh, let's just take a quick look at some introductions here. The expansion of colonies, the expansion of freedom and technological advances in transportation and in the physical science more greatly expanded the growth of the English language. And so we're going to take a peek and look at some of this now. As we've talked about before, there was the American Revolution during this time, the French Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, and all these revolutions are also impacting English and its expansion. Take a quick look at some of the famous people who were born during this time. Benjamin Franklin, of course, you know, invented a variety of things. Paul Revere, Anthony Wayne, Betsy Ross, Mozart did a lot of his work during this time. Obviously, he was born uh, 1732, Washington, 1751, Madison, Thomas Jefferson, Immanuel Kant, philosopher, Patrick Henry, again, another founding father, John Wesley, preacher, uh, Percy Shelley, famous poet at this time in England, Napoleon Bonaparte, David Crockett, Davy Crockett, John Locke, another founding father, Samuel Adams, Jonathan Edwards, again, famous preacher, Daniel Boone, who uh, was a um, pioneer man out in the West, um, Eli Whitney, founder of uh, the cotton gin, and also he, he uh, helped to develop some form of... Uh, um, I forget what the word is. He, he developed guns, uh, interchangeable parts for guns, uh, so that people could do things more quickly that way. So a lot of interesting people are being born here, different parts of the world, um, obviously, but it's a, a, it's a time of great change invention uh, during this time. Some major inventions. Uh, Christo Cristofori, he invents the piano. I had no idea that it was built in 1709. I thought it was a much earlier invention, but there it is. Ben Franklin invents the lightning rod. 55, San John uh, Samuel Johnson publishes the first English language dictionary. We looked at this uh, in an earlier video, nine years after he begins his writing. Joseph uh, Priestley invents carbonated water, soda water. Interestingly enough, look at that, 1767, we have the beginnings of what Coca-Cola and Pepsi are now. Uh, but it's many years later after this is done, after the, the carbonated water is invented. But it's invented way back during this time. 1775, Alan, Alexander Cummings uh, invents the flush toilet. Again, going to revolutionize life. It's no longer outside or in a special little bin somewhere. You have a special room now where you have a flush toilet toilet. James Watt develops a better steam engine, and uh, steam power is now changing, revolutionizing as part of that uh, industrial revolution. Jacques Perrier invents the steam ship. Ben Franklin invents bifocal eyeglasses. Um, again, another great invention that we have because of his work. Uh, Gravinus invents the circular saw, 1780. Again, it's going to change the way things are happening. That combined with the steam engine allows for uh, factories uh, for lumber yards and the like. Some other major inventions. Uh, Louis Sebastian demonstrates the first parachute. I do not know how he got up there, <laughs> but he invented the first parachute. The uh, Montgolfier brothers invent the hot air balloon. Uh, this is 1783. Uh, John Fitch invents a steamboat. It's another steamboat, right? 1789, the guillotine is invented. Some 25 years later, it's going to be used very well in, in France um, during the French Revolution. 1791, John Barber invents the gas turbine. We're moving on to possibly using it for the creation of uh, motors for uh, automobiles a long time before then. 1791, early bicycle is invented in Scotland. Um, it's 100 years later that uh, the Wright brothers, who are bicycle builders, begin to use that for uh, their ideas there for building a plane. 1792, Murdoch invents gas lighting. 
Uh, up until then, lighting was manual. Now they can run pipes all over the place and have gas lighting on the streets. It's a big change. 1792, the first ambulance uh, is uh, developed. The whole idea put together on horse and trail and uh, wagon, no doubt. 1794, Eli Whitney patents his cotton gin. 1798, the first soft drink is invented. That just blows my mind. We had soft drinks in the early 1800s. At the beginning, at the founding of our country, we had soft drinks. Just blows my mind. 1799, Alessandro Volta invents the battery. It is used later on by people like um, Ben Franklin in his research studies. Uh, 1799, Lewis invents the founder, founder machine for sheet paper making. Revolutionary. It's going to change the way paper is made and make it much faster. Uh, moving on to some explorations of this time. In 1707, now this is way back at the beginning of this time, the Act of Union with England and Scotland, so they're being nice together. 1757, the Battle of Plessy, British rule in India, begins. Uh, 1763, France cedes Canada to Britain after the Seven Years' War. So Canada is now taken over by Great Britain, which is why most of Canada now speaks English, although there is a remnant, Quebec, that still speaks uh, French. Daniel Boone, I'm sorry, 1770, James Cook, he explores Tahiti and Antarctica. Again, Daniel Boone explores Kentucky. Simon Fraser explored the British Columbia and starts many forts while he's there. Uh, Arthur Philip travels to Australia, claims it as his colony. 1789, President Washington is elected. 92, 1792, the New York Stock Exchange is founded. 1798, the Irish Rebellion. Uh, and uh, not too many years after this, uh, I think it's about 40 or 50 years after this, there's a whole flock of Irish that begin to come to the U.S. 1808, slavery is abolished in Great Britain a full 50 plus years before it's abolished in the United States. Those are just some of the things that were going on during this language into normative, you know, what we would call modern English is going on. There's a tremendous expansion of English to all these different countries, to India, to Australia, of course to the United States, now to Canada and other parts of the world because of what's going on and English is beginning to dominate in all of these places. Just a little, uh, summary of some of the things that were going on here so you can get a better picture of how English is growing in these areas and the expansion that's uh, happening because of it, both in vocabulary and, and uh, geography. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you in